Hey, what's going on YouTube? Humble King Seven Eight here, scruffy as ever. Gotta get a shade tomorrow. All right, so I'm here to recap the what episode is this? Fifth episode, I think, of Ultimate Fighter. All right, so basically, this was a really good episode. I I'm really enjoying the season so far. I gotta say, um, this one, and for me. Uh, I think it was number nine. Uh, with uh, number nine was with was with uh, Bisping. I think was good. Um, and number seven was good, but number five I enjoyed. Five seven nine. Um, well, three five seven nine I enjoyed uh, a lot, and one and two are classics. But this one, I'm I'm starting to enjoy it a lot. I think the we expected trash talk from Kashek instead of we're getting it from. Bruce Leroy and uh, Cody from Team GSP. I forgot his last name. Um, especially Bruce. I mean, he's he's talking a lot of smack. Or Alex, excuse me. So when it comes down to it, the season very competitive. Um, tonight was the first fight that that went to a full decision. Um, I guess because it was one sided, but. Uh, before I get to the fight, I just want to talk about the, the episode. So the episode starts, it recaps, of course. And then it, get, it gets into the training. It starts off with Kashuk really motivating his guys, really showing them that they they need to be a close-knit team and, and uh, tough it out, basically, on tough. Uh, he gave an example that um, himself, John Fitch, Cain Velasquez, Mike Swick. <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned Mike Swick, but... Um, are prime examples of guys that train hard from AKA and look at them. Look how their careers turned out. So, if you just push hard and work, have a strong, strong worth, worth ethic, and stay strict with it, you know, as long as you're focused doing this, it will pay off. And, and that was the example. I thought that was really good by Josh to, to showcase that. And um, he he looks better every episode. More of a coach, I, I would say. Um. Not comparing him to any other other coaches. Don't expect that from me. I'm just really judging his. This is his first coaching experience, and for him, since season one, he didn't win the show. But this is a, a well-deserved turnaround. He's now getting a title shot. I think he has a chance to win. I, I would never count him out now because I think the guy's really become a more well-rounded fighter, smarter. I think he's more matured now. He's he's letting the, 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 the trash talk and the bad boy image sort of go to the wayside just a bit to focus on this guy that has beaten him before. He did say a few stuff that I thought was a little uncalled for and unnecessary, the whole Frenchy comment when um Skorbowski um came in to train the guys and he was like sort of picking at him. And the thing about um JCS um he was brought in by George St. Pierre. He's George's um, Muay Thai coach, I guess, uh, or Thai boxing coach, excuse me. And he um, he's drunk for majority of it. He only sleeps three hours a day, and he's, he drinks, he smokes, but he kicks like a mule. He knees like a he's just powerful striker, basically. And he was beating the guys down. And he threw a body shot to Alex um, Solplex and dropped him. Threw a leg kick, dropped him. Um, Cody, same thing, dropped him, so, I mean, if you ever watch him fight, um, I forgot the guy's name he fought, I think his name is, um, uh, it's in the description, because I'm not going to screw up his name, um, but, uh, JCS lost that fight, Skarbowski lost that fight, of course, I'm talking about, um, I'll put the, the link to the video, so you can watch it on YouTube, really good fight, um, a few years back, but anyway, so yeah, he was, um, GSP's, um, Thai boxing coach uh, brought him in for this episode, and it showed him in, in the the last episode like a world beater. But you didn't see much of him anyway. Um, then in the locker rooms before the fight, um, he saw him there. So now talk about the fight. The fight was between Spencer Page from Team GSP and Nam Fam from Team Kashek. Um, interesting thing about Fam, I think he. Used to fight at 145. Now that he's a um, a lightweight in the UFC, or you know, fighting in in the contest for lightweights in the UFC, and uh, think I think they said he runs a mile. No, he runs every morning, um, every day. 
probably two or three miles. He run, he ran for like 20 minutes. I uh, at slow pace. He, he was more so getting himself prepared. And I liked, I liked the fact that he took the initiative, the extra initiative to do the extra mile and, and inspired Cody. And I think it was Jeff sitting down by the pool watching. Cause I got, let me get off my lazy ass and started doing something. So, I mean, for him to do that, I mean, he's definitely taking it seriously. He wants to win this show, wants to win the contract. And could definitely pull it off. So, first round of the fight. Um, Nam Fam definitely doing more of the stalking in this fight. He was pressing the action. Heavy-handed puncher. Um, it was really throwing up. Not too much volume um, with mixing it up. He was throwing more punches. Um, Spencer was throwing uh, leg kicks, body kicks, high kicks, punches to the head, punches to the body, circling out. But Nam, all the while, is eating kicks, throwing punches, eating kicks, throwing more punches. And then eventually he got tired of getting kicked, caught one. But I think he was timing himself. He was allowing Spencer to sort of get his 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 uh, rhythm off, you know, sort of like fill him out. He was filling out Spencer. Spencer was throwing in volume, kicks, punches, back and forth. And once he was able to gauge himself, he took a kick, caught it, took him down. Didn't really solidify the ground and pound. He was more postured up like a wrestler stance and throwing punches. And he did not look tired. So I, I guess the running uh, every morning, two or three miles, paid off. Um, so for him to stay in shape was key. He definitely looked composed. Definitely knew what to do when he got in there. Um, ate a few jabs here and there. But of course, you know, you get punched in the face when you use seven octagon. It happens. Um, so he closed that round out with ground and pound. He uh, passed the guard, got into side mount, and the moment he stopped punching, like, the crowd, like, everyone watching the fight just sort of, like, was watching in awe, because I kid you not, the moment they started throwing down, the the volume from the guys cheering and screaming just went up. The more that they were throwing, like, exchanging, it was a really entertaining, action-packed fight. I, I couldn't ask for a better fight for free. Thank you, Zuffa. <laughs> Um, so, when it got quiet is when the danger happens. Nam was going for, um, top side. I think it was Americana. I couldn't really see. And he had it. There was 15 seconds, um, left in a round. First round. Spencer knew it. So, he was holding on to dear life. He was grimacing in pain. And he pulled out, um, definitely, definitely deserved tough guy award, whatever, for that. Because he would have. Nam would have took his arm home with him and his shoulder. It, it was just very tight. Second round, um, Nam doing stalking again. Now throwing volume. He's throwing high kicks. Um, really nice crescent kicks, but with power on him. He throws power with everything. Not the fastest guy, but he throws power. Um, mixing up to the body, throwing really nice body shots. Just, I mean, he really put on a display that, that you have to watch him fight now. Like, if he does not make the finale, you have to sign him. Please, UFC, sign him because he definitely would be a force to reckon with in that lightweight division. I think so, and I would like to see him fight because I was entertained. Like throughout the fight, I had to like tweet it, and it was just it was a good fight. So more of that, he was throwing body shots. I think in the end of the first uh, first round, Spencer's left arm uh, was really bothering him. I think he broke his hand. Uh, he's hurt. He hurt his right chin, I think, when Nam checked a few kicks. Uh, checking kicks hurt. And uh, it showed. So once he was able to um, feel the pain, um, it showed. Mentally, he started to slow down, started to grimace. He just looked like something was bothering him. And Nam picked up on it. He knew what he had to do. And he, he said to himself, basically, what I gathered, that if he continued to, to throw punches in volume and set the pace of this fight, he was winning this fight, and there was no need for a third round. And that's exactly what happened. He finished this round, picked apart Spencer in the second round, and won. A unanimous decision did not go to sudden death, did not go to the third round. First fight to go full two rounds to the distance without sudden death. And a Team Koshek gets their first victory. So congratulations to Team Koshek, as well as Nam Fam. Hopefully he advances. I want to see him in the finale, but we never know. So... Keep watching. Thanks for watching my recap, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Catch you guys later, and uh, stay safe. Peace. Thanks for watching, folks.